to gainsay, excellent word. The quality of these words goes up and down, of course, as, as it must, but many of these words are excellent. To gainsay is almost too good. Uh, to gainsay is to contradict, to deny what one is, someone is saying. Um, gallant means very polite, gentlemanly, usually. To garble is to mix up, mix up his language. The language on the recording was garbled. Probably the microphone was covered. Unclear. Confused. Gaunt. Thin. Uh, thin. Uh, almost sickly. Uh, too thin. Unhealthy. Generic really is a word used very often these days, often just to mean general. A generic term, a general term. Uh, it's related to genre, it's related to genus, uh, meaning kind or type, genre of literature, kind or type. Generic is the adjective form of this word. Really it just means general, of a general type. Genesis, first book in the Old Testament, uh, in the uh, Christian Bible. Uh, it, it means uh, birth, it's from a Greek word, it is a Greek word actually, uh, and it means birth or origin of something, in this case life. Genuine, uh, authentic, not phony, not fake, truly real, chinja, something like that. Gigantic, uh, huge, like a giant. Global, having to do with the globe, the world, meaning all over the world, the global e economy. Um, to glut is to fill beyond uh, sufficiency, uh, to fill too much. From that we get the next word, a glutton is a per person who eats so much that it's, it's disgusting. Uh, it's not hunger. Uh, gluttony is one of the seven deadly sins. Uh, I'll tell you about those sometime uh, and discuss those with you. Uh, it's Christian moral thought at its best. Uh, to gobble is something turkeys do. Uh, gobble, 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 the sound that turkeys make. Uh, probably you've never seen or heard a turkey. Uh, so the most important use here is to gobble up something, uh, to eat quickly, very fast, too fast. Granite is a stone, a very hard stone uh, or rock that probably is in uh, at least beneath the surface of uh, most of the world, I think. Uh, sometimes it's used figuratively and it means just very hard. Uh, his willpower is granite, that is so hard it will not yield. Grateful, gratified, if I am grateful, uh, you do something kind for me, and I am grateful, uh, I thank you, and I feel those thanks. Opposite, of course, ungrateful. Uh, noun also, ingrate. He is an ingrate. That's an important one, uh, which probably, I bet we don't have. And that's okay. Uh, it's a ingratiate. Interesting. I'll put ingrate here. If it's okay with Dr. Shin. Uh, an ingrate is a person who does not show gratitude, is not grateful, as he should be. Gratified, past participle of to gratify. Gratified is pleased. Uh, all of these words, again, 90% uh, of these words Latin. Latinate. Gregarious means liking to... to stay in a herd, H-E-R-D. Uh, some animals are gregarious, some animals are solitary. Some people are gregarious, always found with other people, wanting to be with other people. Some people are more solitary, preferring solitude. To grieve uh, is, strictly speaking, if uh, someone I love dies, I grieve. I mourn for that person. I grieve for him, I grieve, I can, I think VT also, grieve his death, but it's also used figuratively, uh, almost humorously. It grieves me to say that uh, Dong Yang this year is a very bad team. Well, this is not grieve, 
so it's a humorous word also. Grimace, excellent word. A grimace is a facial expression, an expression on my face of pain or oh, grimace in pain, grimace in displeasure. Guileless, excellent word. Innocent, n not guilty of any trickery. Uh, simple, innocent person, a guileless person, like a child. Gullible, believing too readily, too easily. Uh, trusting too much, similar to naive, if we have here, naive, gullible, the same. Uh, what happened? Haggard. Haggard is like gaunt, uh, 20, 20 words earlier. Uh, a person who is haggard is just worn out, exhausted uh, from stress and from physical um, exertion. To have, excellent word, it's the verb form of half. To have, he halved his apple and gave me one half. Cut it in half. To hamper is to hinder, to impede, to instruct, to uh, obstruct, excuse me. Repeating, to hamper is to obstruct, to impede, to uh, hinder. Hampered past participle. He was hampered by his injury. A harbinger of days of uh, plenty or of glory. Uh, a harbinger is a sign of good things to come, like an omen, but a very positive omen. Haughty, excellent word, meaning arrogant. But it's arrogant in, in, in appearance, uh, a haughty demeanor a haughty way of carrying himself, arrogant. Heathen is a person who does not believe, uh, probably, um, frankly I'm not sure, but I would assume that heathen is close to uh, pagan, and so uh, Americans often misuse this word, I think. There's pagan, good. Uh, a pagan, after all, is a person who worships the forces of nature. Uh, the Japanese, strictly speaking, are pagans. That is, Shintoism is a pagan religion because uh, natural divinities, uh, Mount Iwo and uh, streams and uh, rivers and uh, trees and hills, all these things are, are full of uh, the divine. That's pagan. Uh, heathen, I think, has the same meaning. I ought to check. Hedonist, excellent word. A hedonist is a person who believes in the pursuit of pleasure. That is, the only meaning of life is finding pleasure. Um, dangerous kind of person, probably. Uh, the word is used in ethics, meaning uh, simply producing pleasure. So, uh, some uh, ethical thinking, uh, utilitarianism, is based... Okay, we were talking about uh, utilitarianism, uh, a, an ethical theory of uh, 19th century England. Uh, there, hedonism is simply uh, anything designed to produce pleasure rather than pain. In any case, a hedonist is a person who pursues pleasure. Air, notice it's not an aspirated H. An aspirated H is huh, like hedonist. Air is not aspirated like hour, uh, one hour, two hours, three hours. We don't say hour, we say hour, right? An heir is a person, uh, when I die, my children will be my heirs, that is, they will inherit my worldly goods. A henchman is um, a rough person who accompanies somebody, uh, uh, mafia types, uh, perhaps, uh, who protects the boss. Heredity, of course, is, uh, well, it's a, uh, we're close to genetics here. Uh, um, heredity is, pff, how do you define it? Uh, what we inherit. But especially, uh, I have blue eyes because uh, my mother had blue eyes. Uh, is that as a result of heredity, I inherit the genes that produce my blue eyes or something like that. Okay. Heretic. Excellent. Well, this is Dr. Shin's territory. A heretic is a person who goes against the accepted teachings 
of a church. Uh, strictly speaking, it's religion, though a person could, I suppose, be a heretic uh, among the Democrats or the Republicans uh, or the Communists, nearly a religion anyway. A heretic is a person who goes against, who opposes the teaching, the accepted teachings of a church. Heritage. The word is used, uh, I'm proud of my Indian heritage or my black heritage or my Korean heritage or uh, whatever. Um, that is, the ancestors and their accomplishments which went before me. Hermetic is an adjective of hermit. We have hermitage next too. That's interesting. A hermit is a person who chooses to live alone, who uh, leads a solitary rather than gregarious life. Now, hermetic often is used to be, if something is hermetically sealed in science, it's sealed so tightly that no air can enter it. Uh, it's hermetically sealed. But again, it's from hermit. Hermitage is a place where a hermit lives. Uh, a cave, perhaps. But the Hermitage is the name of the uh, world-famous museum in uh, Leningrad, St. Petersburg, uh, one of the five best museums in the world. Um, hermitage, from the French word. Heterodox. We have Orthodox, I'm sure. Dr. Shin has put it there, I'm sure. No, don't see it. Let's put it there. A, I just mentioned it in connection with heretic. A heretic goes against the orthodox teachings of a group or a church. Um, but we are talking about uh, heterodox. Uh, a person who is, heret is a heretic holds heterodox views. Hetero, other. Dox from a Greek word meaning view, teaching even. Uh, orthodox, correct views according to some church. Heterodox, differing from the accepted views. Heterogeneous, we have the same root, the same prefix here, hetero, other. Heterogeneous and homogeneous, often mispronounced uh, homogeneous, no, homogeneous, heterogeneous, E-O-U-S. Heterogeneous is mixed. American culture is heterogeneous, made up of many different strands. Korean culture has been, until uh, the 20th century at least, a homogeneous uh, culture, both uh, racially, uh, Koreans marry Koreans, and culturally, aside from um, Chinese influence. To hibernate is literally to spend the winter someplace, from the uh, Latin word meaning winter, um, bears hibernate. Hindrance is the noun form of to hinder. Uh, a hindrance is an obstacle, something that blocks me from achieving something. Hither, going hither, going there, in that direction. Um, good word. Hither and thither that way and back. Holster, unworthy here, doesn't belong on this page. A holster, after all, is just uh, the, uh, the fabric, usually, or leather that holds my gun. <laughs> homily. A homily is a sermon, uh, a sermon about a moral uh, lesson, um, never used. Homogeneous, we have done all of one kind. Horizon is the line that appears on the edge of, uh, as far as we can see, especially at the sea, when we're at the beach or at the uh, shore. We look in the distance, and as far as we can see is the horizon.